game developing company as well. Right, so these are all the other, uh, you get Nintendo. Uh, can somebody name a game that Nintendo has created? Sorry? King Kong. Another one, famous one? Super Mario. So, uh, any other game? Right, Super Mario is uh, uh, what uh, Nintendo created and uh, statistically, uh, that is the, uh, uh, what do you call, uh, the most uh, sold game in the world. 240 million units. I'm not just saying one particular Ma Mario version. There are actually more than 200 titles of Mario, right? And they have sold over 240 million uh, units. So they are in the lead as far as a particular uh, game series is concerned, right? Then uh, Capcom, anybody know a game that Capcom created? Resident Evil, did they create that? Yes, Resident Evil, then uh, Devil May Cry. Uh, famous one is, uh, I think you guys must have played this, uh, Street Fighter, yeah. So that is what Capcom created. Electronic Arts, Need for Speed. Anything else? Cricket, what is? Command and Conquer, they didn't uh, create it, I think they acquired it uh, later on, is it? Is it? Right, so good time to Google and uh, Bing and see what it is. So uh, I uh, don't have it on my list here, so maybe I'll check it out and see whether they created it. Right, uh, so they have created a lot of uh, sports games, right? So you get the cricket, you get the FIFA, you get NBA Live, uh, Madden, then uh, you get all these things. They, they, they had made a name for, them, they, for themselves, creating these uh, sports games and renewing it every year, right? But uh, this is what happened in 2004. They were doing this without worrying about their competitor, okay? They were creating these games that were, it's the same game, they just make an improvement. They call it, uh, like Windows, you get uh, uh, NBA 99, NBA 2000, like that. They created, you get Cricket 2001, then Blind Laras Cricket is also EA, isn't it? Yeah, so they, they, they name, they use Tiger Woods and all these people. Uh, and they created the same game, they kept doing the same thing. As I mentioned in my initial, my first slide, it says innovation and creativity. So for EA, up to 2004, they didn't worry about that. They were just doing the same thing. But then, uh, can anybody recognize this company? Rockstar. So what is the game they created? Grand Theft Auto. That changed the dynamics of gaming and the people at EA were crying. Okay. <laughs> they were crying because they, they were thinking, I mean, they were telling themselves, why didn't we think of that? Why, why do I say they were almost, you know, crying? Because Grand Theft Auto is different to Need for Speed. Agree? Right? Because the environment is completely different. You can do all sorts of things that Need for Speed can't do in 2009, I mean, in the initial stages, right? They adapted with carbon and shift late and uh, most wanted and hot pursuit later. But, I mean, uh, <coughs> The gaming dynamics to Grand Theft Auto was different, right? You can have a totally different experience when playing Grand Theft Auto because you get all these missions and all these things, whereas for cricket or for Need for Speed, it was, uh, you know, you, you can't go over running people, right? You can't go over pedestrians and uh, things like that. But Grand Theft Auto did that, right? In its most basic sense. Uh, they did that, and uh, they then in 2004, uh, Electronics Arts decided, okay, we need to, we need to go and do something creative for a change. I'm talking about Electronic Arts here, okay? Uh, they have 88,000 people working at e Electronic Arts at this moment, right? So, uh, sorry, 8,000, not 88,000, 8,000. Uh, and uh, they were thinking to themselves, okay, 
We need to do something. We need to change the dynamics of what we are doing. And that's when they came up with uh, uh, Lord of the Rings, then uh, uh, 007, all these games. They, 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 they thought of, okay, let's take on uh, the intellectual property and let's, uh, you know, uh, come up with different games now. Let's not wait for, for people to buy Need for Speed 2012 or 13 or whatever it is. We need to give a variety to the people and we need to create something, right? Get all the good movies. So, I mean, when Electronic Arts uh, were doing uh, Lord of the Rings, uh, everybody knows about the film Lord of the Rings, right? Okay, if you haven't, you should go and watch it, Lord of the Rings, because it's a brilliant uh, trilogy. Right, it's three films, it'll take about nine hours to watch the whole thing, <laughs> but it's worth it, right? And uh, they, they started working on it before it was famous. Peter, they started with, uh, you know, the person who directed it is Peter Jackson. Before he created Lord of the Rings, he was a very controversial director, and it was a big risk for Electronic Arts to step with uh, Peter Jackson and work on this uh, Lord of the Rings game, right? But they took the risk, okay? That is what, you know, Gaming is about, it's taking a substantial risk as well because you're creating something new. I mean, there, there was a big risk here as well. We might break some glass or break some uh, lights, right? So similarly, uh, not in the same uh, uh, scope, but Electronic Arts took a gamble and they did all these film game, uh, games as well. So they, 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 they have, uh, you know, they have now done uh, Medal of Honor and uh, all these other games as well. So I'm just trying to show that even if you're a high-end company, you could lose focus, right? So as a game developer as well, you have to always keep yourself polished. You guys are, uh, you guys have worked hard to come here to uh, get into the University of Monotour. That is a big challenge in the first sense. And to get into the uh, CSC department is an even challenge, even greater challenge, right? So make sure you keep that same focus and you create, you create something which uh, uh, you will like, you can be proud of, and make sure that you are always open, you keep your mind open. Don't li uh, I mean, to be honest, uh, don't take everything that I tell you right now, okay? That is my honest opinion. Don't take everything that I tell you right now. Don't make a decision, don't make a judgment on what I say. Don't believe all the statistics that I said, okay? 8,000 employees, are you sure it's 8,000 employees? There is a way of finding out. In a few hours, you can find out the exact number, right? So keep your mind open. Don't believe anything I say, to be honest. Okay? Keep your mind open and see for yourself. Understand, you know, what has been said, but keep, keep your, you know, decisions to a latter stage so that then only you can truly understand, you know, the environment and the basics of whatever that happens. This is, uh, I mean, true for any lecture that you attend, right? Make sure you are open to, I mean, that's why, I mean, uh, feedback for a lecturer is very important because you can, you know, it's, it's good to interact. Not many lectures, I mean, this is a special case where, you know, I, I make it very interactive, but I mean, obviously, in some of the lectures, you can't do that because the, uh, the concept, uh, the, the context is different, right? But whenever you get an opportunity, try to, uh, uh, see if you could keep your mind open and uh, understand it, then, because then only you can truly like uh, understand and take it forward, right? You have to keep yourself focused, and um, that is what I mean. Uh, EA made a mistake, but they quickly learned from it, right? They realized, okay, we have to do something about it, and now now it's 2010, and they are I mean they are they are on their feet again, right? I have put Atari on the middle because they are the ones who started. As I mentioned in my, uh, you know, first, second slide, I even assumed that computer space was done by Atari. Uh, it was not. Uh, but they, they quickly started with Pong and they evolved quickly. But then now uh, Atari is uh, not in a great state right now. There are a lot of other uh, companies that are doing well. Maybe because they haven't thought out, they haven't kept their open mind. They are, they are more interested in the Atari name rather than their product, right? So it, it could be the same thing for us. I mean, I want GTS to be in the top in five years or 10 years, hopefully, right? 
So I, I'll, I mean, I started with the mobile gaming, but now we might change platforms. We might go to PC, or better, we might go for the iPhone or even Facebook, right? So you have to keep evolving, and uh, th that is a basic fundamental. If you want to survive in uh, the gaming industry, you have to keep innovating and you know being very creative, right? Uh, I wanted to show that being uh, like creative in an example in this lecture hall itself. So I don't know whether you have uh, played a cricket match in a lecture uh, before. Right, so I assume that is creative way just to demonstrate that you know you can. Uh, I mean, uh, you might be wondering how I thought of the idea. It just came because I was just watching a match and I thought I want to play some cricket. Uh, <laughs> because two, uh, I think the first thing is uh, I have to thank for the two hours uh, duration because two hours giving a lecture is very boring, right? So you have to have some kind of uh, different uh, atmosphere. That is why I thought, okay, let's do something different. And that's why, uh, okay, let's create, a, uh, uh, let's play some cricket, because that is a good example. Okay, so uh, Ubisoft, anybody know uh, what they have? Driver, Assassin's Creed, Far Cry. Far Cry was them. Okay. Prince of Persia, right? <coughs> uh, Splinter Cell. Then uh, Sega, just one game. Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic, you know, right? So then uh, uh, Square in Square. We have, uh, I think you guys have said the name of the game earlier. Sorry? Uh, no, Metal of Honor is EA. It's uh, Final Fantasy, right? So. Uh, these are the uh, lion head uh, dead uh, fable, right? So these are just, I mean, you don't have to just ignore all this. You don't have to know about it. There are hundreds of these companies. I'm just trying, I just brought the situation where, you know, in order, just because you have a good name doesn't mean that it's going to be a good name forever. You have to keep innovating and you have to keep changing and be, uh, you know, come up with uh, creative stuff. So, uh, Finally, we come to uh, what we need for a game development company, right? Uh, so for if you take a particular project in mind, we have all these different scenarios. We have a project manager who will make sure that everything will go according to plan. They, you might call it even a creative director, right? So uh, you get the lead designer. Can anybody define what this lead designer is? Now you see lead designer, you get lead artist, you get, you know, isn't that the same? No, why do you say it's not the same? <laughs> or you, are you just not, <laughs> do you have an idea? No. I saw you also, do you have an idea? No. Right, right. So the lead design is the person who come. <coughs> he's the person who comes up with the concept, right? So he will say, okay, let's have these 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 things in here, right? Let's make this a three or four level game, right? So the rule makers. So you are the designers in this game, cricket game, right? So uh, you had many hats to wear in this situation, but you you are the lead designer as well, right? So uh, lead artist, is the, as he mentioned, uh, is the person who comes up with the 3D or 2D animation, uh, you know, graphics. And fourth in line is the programmer. <laughs> so uh, some people give programming uh, programmers uh, higher up rank, but in most situations, the programmer is the fourth most important person. So this might be a bit of a shock to you guys, because uh, you're in, uh, you're doing. Uh, a degree where you are, you are, programmers are software engineers, right? So you are the fourth ranked person in a game company. Surprised? <laughs> so some, I mean, there, there are few companies which put programmers on top, but uh, in more, the, the traditional sense, uh, game programmers come fourth in the list, 
of the most important people, right? Maybe. We